Hi, welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be unpacking and reviewing the Husqvarna 120i B battery leaf blower. IB Husqvarna battery leaf blower. Um, we did purchase it as the bundle kit so that means it came with the charger and the battery so looks really good. It does uh, and for me I think batteries are always the most uh, important thing because ultimately this is what drives the actual uh, equipment. So the bundle came with the BLI 20 uh, battery which is the 4 amp 36 volt. We'll just put a link below um, in which will go to our blog which will show you a table yeah. because uh, the one thing that I found I find really appealing about Husqvarna is that a lot of their batteries um, are interchangeable with other products mm. but it's it's not the easiest thing to find uh, this table where yeah. it's actually shows you all, all the different battery numbers right. and then what products that battery works with yeah um, so I know that um, this battery will work with one of the other Husqvarna right. products that we've got on order okay. um, but it is really worth knowing kind of you're going to buy a bundle uh, and you're going to buy another product does the the battery that comes in the bundle work with the other products then it saves you buying yeah. another battery potentially so it is worth knowing um, what batteries um, your bat Husqvarna's work with and what I found quite interesting is that this particular battery like I said it's a 4 amp 36 volt battery actually is, is a lot of battery and I think leaf blowers in general actually require quite a lot of power so I think it'll be interesting to see how long that battery is able to, to keep this particular leaf blower operational on one charge. And if that works with the data that's actually reported on the chart. Yeah, exactly. Because on the chart where it says what's compatible, there's also yeah. a, a usage time. As you can see, we're obviously in a rural property and on our small holding, we're surrounded by beautiful yeah. trees. And um, as much as I love autumn and I love seeing all the leaves changing color, it's one of the most beautiful times of the year for us up here. Um, we do end up with a considerable amount of yeah. leaves on the ground and we want to start to be able to use those um, to mulch and for our compost. So um, we don't really necessarily just want them to just blow away. We want to be able to, con in a controlled fashion, blow them um, into a pile be able to collect them and use them um, also um, as you can see we've got um, quite a large gravel driveway um, so raking up leaves here is not very effective no. and takes an awful long time so I'm really hoping that this is going to uh, fulfill its purpose and make life a lot easier and also help us create our own leaf mulch yeah so well, let's go charge these see how long that takes and then we can put it to use excellent days and I'm pretty much wearing the same outfit but <laughs> it's our gardening clothes um, but it is a few days um, we charged the battery it took about an hour so it was quite a fast charge um, and it was really really quiet which is something to note because a lot of the batteries that we found that we charge um, are actually quite noisy and buzzy so I believe that the battery slides into this um, hole here and then it just clips in like that very easy uh, there seems to be a light indicator here okay so i'm going to turn it on now they're soft push buttons so i'm going to press this and it looks like it's got different levels of pressure so max low medium high so i'll keep it on high and let's see <laughs> Strong. 
should we try it on medium? So I would say that Max is really good, as you saw for the wet leaves. So once the leaves have compacted and got really mulchy and wet and they're, you know, clumpy, um, the Max clears them out really easily. Medium uh, seems to be good for kind of dry leaves that are just hanging around. And I'll try the lower setting and see what that is good for. Very gentle. Yeah, so I would say that um, as you just saw on the fern, the, the lower setting is really nice when you're going around delicate plants because you can still clear the leaves. say that we've just been using it for uh, about 20 minutes and I would say that the lowest is great and works um, it does blow the leaves um, the medium is quite powerful and is already moving the gravel and the max is pretty full-on and really does blow the gravel as well as the leaves so I can't see me using the max um, setting too often unless as I said you've got a big clump of mulchy wet leaves that have uh, made a big stodgy pile um, I think um, low to medium I think it's quite a powerful blower so I think that's good I'll just do a quick battery test and see how much we've used we've got two bars left I can definitely see uh, why uh, professional gardeners use these. Um, really great um, for getting right underneath um, bushes and things like this that are harder to reach uh, uh, with the rake. So very, very convenient. helped using the blower and definitely made it a lot easier and faster which is great um, the objective was not to pick up every single leaf because of course it's autumn so the leaves are, are falling even as we speak I can see some falling off the tree behind the camera so um, it's a very beautiful time of the year and we really do love seeing all the leaves falling down and the different colors it's absolutely beautiful um, but we do want to get these big pockets and clumps of leaves that uh, form in corners and on steps and things because we can actually use these leaves for mulching also what we found was last Last year um, we didn't have time to continuously rake up the leaves on the back lawn and unfortunately there was quite a lot of leaf mulch that, and debris that uh, um, came onto the lawn and that actually created holes and pockets of um, dead grass so it's going to be really great to be able to just nip out there every few days and give it a blast get the leaves off the grass and into the flower beds and allow that grass to grow nice and strong through the winter 
So I've now got about one bar of battery left on my Husqvarna blower. Um, I used it predominantly on low and medium. I really didn't use the high setting too much and I used it for about 30 minutes. So that gives you an idea on a low to medium setting, 30 minutes, you're kind of left with one bar of battery. So um, I think that it was good and it was good enough for, for us to use. I can't see me leaf blowing for more than half an hour, 45 minutes. It was a little bit heavy with the battery in it. When it arrives and it doesn't have a battery, um, it's very, very light. Um, so after half an hour you are feeling it but it's not weighing you down and it's not feeling uncomfortable but you are noticing it the other thing I would mention just as a very tiny small note is that when I was wearing my gloves I actually ended up having to take them off because the actual gloves itself were catching in the trigger so um, you might want to keep that in mind either don't wear gloves or certainly wear I think these are one size too big for me anyway so just wear tighter gloves Obviously here we're in a very open setting, so with regards to noise, there isn't too much that the noise can bounce back on and, and reverberate on. So um, because we are in this nice big open setting, the noise just kind of um, dissipates. But uh, I wouldn't say it was that noisy. I would say on the lowest level, I could still speak to Mars. On the medium level, I could raise my voice and speak to him. And on the highest level, I would have to shout. Um, but it certainly didn't need any earmuffs or anything like that. It was very comfortable um, sound and uh, quite uh, suitable for a domestic use. With regards to uh, buttons, um, I think that everything's well placed. Um, just from the weight, um, I would feel that that's too much tension on my wrist and it wants to drop down if I was to um, move and press buttons. So I just kind of leave it uh, hanging on my leg and leaning on there and then I just press the buttons I need to. The trigger is really great. Um, as long as I don't have my gloves on, it works really nicely and it starts and stops quite quickly. So our first time using a Husqvarna product was really good. I was suitably impressed. We've got a Husqvarna, a pole saw that's in the um, garage and it hasn't even been unpacked. So we need to unpack that and review that. We've got quite a few jobs coming up for major pruning, uh, winter pruning. So we'll definitely be able to share our thoughts and, our, and show you what that's like. And then I've got a Husqvarna um, hedge trimmer on order. It keeps getting delayed, unfortunately, but I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, it's gonna arrive at the end of October and November. So if you're interested in more Husqvarna product reviews, um, please subscribe and ring the bell. And thanks very much for watching and we hope to see you on our next video.